All right, guys. I know this is long overdue, um, and I wanted to give you guys a, uh, a little bit of an update on the Meridian Defense uh, Pestilence. So uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, had the gun for um, about a year now, a little under. Uh, when I first got it, and if you watch part one, you know that I had a um, firing pin issue. Had to send it back, and then got it back, and everything's pretty much been good to go since. Um, they replaced it with a new round firing pin rather than like the, uh, the really slim one that can kind of bend. That's what happened to the first one. Um, but they replaced it with a round one. I'll show you all that. Um, I talked about doing like a kind of a cleaning video. So I'm at a little over 1600 rounds with this gun in the, in the last uh, year since owning it. Um, I was really trying to get to that 2000 mark. Not that it, any certain rounds matters, um, especially I'm just some regular guy. Um, but I do have about a little over 600 rounds with this gun fired, uh, mostly suppressed with a dead air Wolverine. Um, so yeah, it's and it's been it's been shot pretty good. Um, it's been a while since I've cleaned it. Um, I want to say, hmm, probably a thousand rounds, maybe maybe a little less than that since the last like real cleaning. Um, I don't know exactly, so don't don't hold me to that. Um, but just know I'm trying to show you everything as as it is. Um, you know, since I've just use it like a kind of a normal person would. So I do have a tripod for the first time. I'm trying to uh, trying to get, get it to, to work. I'm gonna try to keep everything in frame. Uh, I'm sorry if it's not perfect. Um, doing my best. Um, so as you can see, uh, it has been you know it's been shot pretty good. We got a lot of. Uh, a lot of crud on there. I do like to keep it pretty well uh, greased. I am a grease guy for AKs. Um, I know some people like that, like that white lithium grease stuff, and uh, I, I actually have some of that I've used that's pretty good. Um, but I actually have quite a quite a, a buildup of this, so I've been trying to get through this as the uh, the Breakthrough Clean Battleborn um, grease. Um, this stuff holds really well. I've had good luck with it. Like you, you might be able to see on the video, there's still you know, it's still grease left over from the last time that I shot with it. Um, and, you know, this thing's pretty pretty well coated, pretty well used. Um, but it's nice that at least it still has a coating of this stuff. So I'm going to give it a pretty deep scrub today. Um, try to get everything off that I can. Uh, just to show us kind of the parts of where... Boy, yeah, it's scrubby. Um, just kind of to show the parts of, you know, where things are, how it looks... Um, for those of you that don't know, this is a Romanian parts kit. Uh, the number on the stock coincides with the, the year of the kit. So mine is a 1979 kit, um, as shown on the Trunnion. Um, if you haven't seen uh, if you haven't seen the part one, I, I kind of go over a lot of what the pestilence is. This is more of just like an update portion. Um, so yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and give this thing a scrub. Um, I'm, the, I'm not the best video editor with all this, so I'm not sure how exactly I'm going to do it. I'm going to stop this part of the clip. I'm going to try a new clip and then maybe I can get that to go at like, you know, super speed and you can kind of just see everything I do. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to like, sh you know, show it as grubby and then cut and show it clean and then like, you know, try to hide anything. I'm not a, I, I don't try, I wish, I wish I could get some money from, from <laughs> these guns, but this is just something that I, I like to do. Um, so, and I just kind of want to show it because I know a lot of people are in, intrigued by these guns, but the price, um, you know, makes them maybe question so I'm trying to be as open and honest with my experience as I can be. Um, so yeah, I'm going to cut this part. I'll start scrubbing and I'll try to go uh, fast for the edit. And then we'll, I'll show you the parts in detail, talk about it a little bit. Um, and then I'll tell you my future plans with it. All right, hopefully this works and we'll see you on the other side.
All right, so went through the just a quick clean from everything that you saw. I'm gonna try to get myself behind the camera a little bit better. Zoom in a little bit on the inside of the gun. All right, so this is the Pestilence. Um, it's got a, a chemo muzzle device. Haven't done anything to it from the factory other than replace the front sight post with a KNS uh, precision front sight post. Uh, Ultimac is all from them. Everything else on the gun is from them, including the grip. It's their uh, it's their AKA trigger. I think they just released this to the public not long ago, um, so that's something that I think everybody can get now. Uh, my lighting is not the best. Let me see if I can get a flashlight to help. All right, little weapon light. Let's see how this does. Might be too bright. We'll see. Yep. Okay. We'll shut it over. Okay. As you can see, here's some trunnion action. Let's see if I get it closer if it helps. Everything looking at it, you know, not through the camera lens, it seems pretty good. Um, I don't I don't notice anything that makes me concerned at all. Um there's that. Everything looks good. Hammer. Face looks okay. I the light so it doesn't blind us. So I don't see anything that's worthy of concern. Safety. Everything functions right. Trigger feels good still. So on the gun, nothing, nothing that I can note that seems crazy. I'm gonna put that to the side. Get into some of the parts. Go ahead and take a look at that bolt. So, the bolt <clears throat> is definitely something that I did have a trouble with um, when I first got it. The firing pin, as you can see, has been replaced by them. This is still the same one that they replaced. Nice and free float still. Um, and it's a circle one, which I very much prefer. It's a fluted, fluted firing pin. Okay, that all looks good. Here's the face. Nothing crazy that I can see. Lug wear, I know people like to look into that. There is a small, like, burr here. And I noticed that the last time I cleaned it as well. I wanted, definitely wanted to make sure to highlight that. Definitely looks like some metal movement, you know, Romanian kit. But definitely some movement there. I didn't notice it anywhere else. Last time I looked at it, which has been, like I said, 800 to 1,000 rounds before, probably. So that's definitely the the biggest piece that I know. Other than that, I feel like it looks pretty good. All right. Dust cover. No one really cares. Looks fine. Good. Good. All right. And carrier group. So, this still has its normal wiggle jiggle. Get back to that later. And here is the actual carrier. I didn't see anything of much concern. A I mean, a tiny, you can see a little, a little shiny spot there. Tiny little bit. But I mean, not even enough to really feel. Everything seems happy. A little bit of tail smashing. Nothing crazy. You can pick at it with a nail. But I've seen I've seen worse based on like Rob Ski's videos and stuff. But again, only like sixteen hundred rounds or so, so nothing nothing crazy. I wish I could afford to do more, but <laughs> that's where I'm at right now. Um things that I want to do, I actually bought it, I have it. I plan on putting it on tomorrow. It's one of the reasons why I'm doing this. I went ahead and picked up... This is something I could have done from factory build. I probably just should have. Um, a K&S piston. Uh, just the regular AKM one, except, as you can see, it says 10S. That does mean small hole. The uh, reason why I went with that is because right now, the gun actually cycles subsonics, which I think is pretty cool. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a ton of them, but I have enough of them that it makes me want to be able to shoot them. 
uh, and actually cycle. I know a lot of AKs can't run them um, just as they are. So, and I did talk to Meridian and say, hey, when you guys install KNSs, what do you guys do? And they said they did the small hole. So I found one, bought it, and um, I'm going to try to get that in tomorrow. They have the typical rivet from what I know anyway. So I'm going to try to bust that out myself. We'll see if I just dick the whole thing out or not. Um, but it might even just be a pin. I'm not sure, to be honest with you. It might just be a pin. But either way, I'm going to go after it and try it. Um, and then I'll do another update um, after I install that, see how it goes. If I mess the thing up, I'll just friggin' send it back so you can put the original back in. But I, it should be okay. I mean, I'm, I've... Uh, I've seen the gunsmiths do it in person, so I'm hoping I can just do it on my own to avoid spending the money. But yeah, that's kind of where it's at. Um, not a huge update, but zero issues. Um, it's been it's been a lot of fun. It's a cool gun. Uh, every time I shoot it, I, I it gets me excited about it again. Um, other people love it, obviously. I mean, it has the look. It's such a cool looking gun. I, I really enjoy AKs. I do have ARs. I'm not like the you know, the purest, but I will say that my ARs are actually the PWS ones, so they are long stroke piston as well, so I, uh, I do obviously enjoy the long stroke piston guns. Um, as far as running it, um, I will say I wish that you could get it with a different muzzle device. I love my Wolverine, it's great, um, but obviously this is a 14.5, so you have to get something pinned, pinned and welded to it. They offer just some regular brakes, but obviously if you want to run suppressed, you got to have some type of QD mount. And having the Wolverine, um, I had to get the JMAC Customs adapter, so I rock set that into the Wolverine. And then I went ahead and I rock set in the hub adapter, or the, or the hub mount onto the Wolverine itself. I actually have it over here, I think I can show it to you. Maybe, maybe launch. There it is. So it ends up with the Wolverine just being ridiculous. It's already a heavy ass can. And now with the adapter, and the hub adapter on it. It just makes it even even bigger. So like this gun goes from pretty lightweight and easy to shoot, which I mean, it's still easy to shoot, but you throw this on the end and boy, do you feel it. Um, but on a side note, this thing has been awesome. I've run this on a bunch of crap, a bunch of different AKs, um, some ARs. And then the biggest thing I put it on is I have a um, Bergar 300 Win Mag that I shoot out to like a thousand yards. That's the furthest range I have. And this thing just eats it up all day long. It loves it. Um, it makes that gun so much fun. And that the weight actually helps with long range, obviously. Um, so super durable can. If you're looking for a 30 cal can, um, I do recommend the Wolverine. Unless it's something that if you're not dealing with AKs or your AKs, you know that the AKs you have are going to be straight barrel. Or you have straight threads. Like I know this one would. I could probably just get a regular 30 cal can, throw a uh, adapter in it, and then run it. Which I might do down the line. But for now, I'm just going to run the Wolverine. Plus the Wolverine does look good on the, on the AK. Um, I'm not going to put it on just because YouTube sucks, um, but that's that's been a good purchase too. Um, the X-Tech mags that Meridian sent have been great. I love them. Um, honestly, I have a ton of surplus metal mags, which are awesome too, but I probably won't buy any more of those going forward. I'll probably just buy the X-Tech mags. They just run. Um, they've run. They've ran with the gun being suppressed. They've run with the gun being unsuppressed. They've run with subsonics. They've run with pretty much everything I've thrown at it. Um, and they just feel good. I've dropped them doing reloads and stuff. No no issues. Um, they seem to be quality magazines. Um, so I, I like those. I wouldn't I wouldn't shy away from them or anything. So I think I mean, people will be happy with those. But yeah, guys, um, hopefully we'll see if this edit can come together. Um, if you have any questions or anything, you know, feel free to put it in the, uh, in the comments. And I will try to answer everything that I can as I, as I go through. Um, so yeah, only, only thing of note I would really say would be on this, on this bolt, there's that little lip, um, on, on that lug right towards the back there. But I'm hoping dialing it in with the KNS, I'll do another update with the KNS to see, you know, before and after as far as shooting. I have a bunch of uh, film, video of the, of the cases going. Um, so yeah, but yeah, it pretty much eats everything I give it to. It hasn't, like, like I said, since the initial firing pin breaking. I've had zero malfunctions, not one. Not a failure to fire, not a failure to feed, failure to extract, nothing. Like, it's just run, so knock on wood. Um, but, yeah. All right, well, thanks for watching. Um, let me know if you have questions. I appreciate you guys. Have a good one.